Hi there. Now before we start part B of this question, I just want to take you back to the fact that this question is quite long and I don't want to discourage anybody from reading a question through. I certainly encourage that, but it's very tempting to be literally bombarded in this question with so much information. When for part B, we're told that given that theta varies, find the minimum value of V for two marks. And we've got the fact that we're given this formula here for V, V equals 21 divided by 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta. And theta lies between 0 and 150 degrees. Now in the first part, part A, we had to express 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta, our denominator here, in the form R cos theta minus alpha. And we did that, we didn't need any of this information up here, and we got the answer that it was identical to 25 cos of theta minus 73.74 degrees. And now we're being asked then to find the minimum value of V for two marks. And we're given this formula here. So we just do not need any of this information here. So what I'm going to do is just remove this so we've got more room to discuss this solution. But if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you just might want to fast forward. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So as you can see, I've just removed the top part of the question. Now, when it comes to working out the minimum value of V, let's just first of all write down what V is, okay? We can see it's this, but uh, I'm just going to rewrite that denominator with the value that we're asked to prove in A, because that is crucial to this type of problem. 25 then cos of theta minus 73.74 degrees. Now you get quite a lot of these kind of problems where you have to find max and min values and they all are much the same. Now with this one we've got a fraction and whenever you've got a fraction and asked to work out the minimum value, in this case the minimum value of V, we would want to make the top of the fraction as small as possible and make the bottom of the fraction as large as possible. Now the top of the fraction is a constant, so we can't do much about that. It's just going to be 21. But because theta varies, we can make the denominator here a maximum value. We want to maximize the denominator. Okay, so we'll just put that in there. We'll put denom for short. And we can do that just by looking at what happens on the cosine function. 25 is a constant, but the cosine of this angle, and let's just see it as an angle. Let's not complicate things with theta minus 73.74. It's just cosine of an angle. Just need to think of the graph of the cosine of, say, angle x. Cosine of angle x, okay, looks like a graph like this, okay, going between minus 1 and 1. So you get a maximum value of 1 when x is 0, when it's 360 degrees. So for the cosine of any angle, this is going to have a maximum value of 1. And 25 times 1 will give us a maximum in the denominator. So therefore, when it comes to working out the minimum value of V, it's going to be 21 divided by 25. Okay, 